here. Gonna do a quick to the point review on the Builtwell Gringo S. Both of these helmets are gonna be dirty and ugly because they've been used for miles and that's why this review counts. All right, I won't tell you my life story, but what I will do is tell you about this helmet. Um, it's a decent helmet. It's uh, comfortable. The inside is plush, it's soft, but it's all just cloth, okay? There's a reason that this helmet is a little bit less expensive than some of the competitors on the market. You've got no venting in the front or on the top. Um, and either of these helmets, this one comes with a cool paint job, but uh, they are comfortable to wear. Um, and when they're closed there for a full face helmet with a, with a shield, they're somewhat quiet. I wouldn't say they're the quietest, um, but they're not definitely not the loudest either. The seal uh, actually happens. Let me see if I get this to filter here. Bink. The seal actually happens, locks down with a, with a button. Okay, you'll see this shield has cracked right there from pulling on that button so much. Alright, so that's going to be an issue you're going to want to think about. There is a difference between the Gringo and the Gringo S. The Gringo does not have the flip up shield. It's just open like this. So basically if I unscrewed this, I would have a Gringo. By adding this, I have the Gringo S. Um, the problem with the Gringo S that I had, when I got this helmet a couple years ago, I did probably 15,000 miles in this helmet. and the wind would catch it, and this thing would end up rolling down on me all the time. I could never keep it up, um, which drove me absolutely nuts. A couple years later, Ashley purchased this one. She went with the Bubble Shield, another Gringo S, just a different style. And um, man, we tighten these things down, and constantly the same problem is it's rolling down, it's rolling down. Another thing that's kind of annoying is this button, as you can hear, it makes a lot of noise right there by your face all the time while it's up. So, uh, with it down and closed, it's a fairly good helmet. But if you like to ride with this up at all, not necessarily the helmet I recommend. Uh, for style, eight, nine points. Good looking helmet. Um, for functionality, uh, not so much. This big mouthpiece, as cool as it looks, makes it very difficult. makes it very difficult for people to hear you when you're talking to them. They can't read your lips, they can't see anything, no matter how I tilt my head. You find yourself trying to do this to be able to speak to somebody, okay? Um, not cool when you're bike by bike. If you've got communications, obviously that makes it a little bit easier. But overall, uh, for function, it's just not real good. This is too big, in my opinion. This hit face shield, uh, it's got an inferior latching system, and uh, it just won't stay up but comfortable. I do have to say that that is a comfortable fit. So, you know, pick your poison. Two different helmets, two different sizes, two different face shields, the exact same, two different riders, the exact same problem, the shield. If you're gonna get it, get it without the shield and uh, use goggles. It's a good, inexpensive helmet. Um, I believe it's a safe helmet. It's a comfortable helmet, but definitely not not making it happen with the shield.